Imagine, if you will, a country that has three branches of government, the executive branch of government. The executive branch of government designed to execute the laws, carry out the laws of the country. An executive branch that is able to create treaties with foreign countries to enter into treaties. Now let's look at the legislative branch of government. Legislate means to make laws. So the Congress and the House of Representatives, or the House of Representatives and the Senate formed, come together to form a Congress, which actually the definition is, I think a gathering of baboons. But Congress, collectively, the, the House of Representatives and the US Senate legislate, they create law. They write laws, they pass them, then it goes to the executive branch of government for final approval. Two separate branches of government. Now imagine the third branch of government, the judiciary. What does the judiciary do? It interprets law. The judiciary does not legislate from the bench. That was never the intention of the judicial review. So keeping in mind the three branches of government, one executes the laws, carries them out. The executive branch does not create law. It's unconstitutional for the legislative branch to write a law that bypasses the legislative authority, that supersedes their authority. It is unconstitutional. The legislative authority is the only branch of government that is allowed to create law. The judicial branch of government, the Supreme Court, the circuit, circuit courts do not have the authority to legislate from the bench. To legislate falls under the legislative branch of government. Do we have those clear? If we do, then let's continue. When the, gov when the President of the United States sees that another president has drafted a memo or an executive order that is unconstitutional law because the president has bypassed the legislative branch of government. I don't care what the executive branch, what the executive order says or does. It is unconstitutional if it creates new law. So by President Trump taking DACA, which I'm not going to go into the what it stands for because we all know what I'm talking about. When the president vetoes or avoids DACA, an executive order, which by design might have been a temporary, as President Obama put it, a temporary stopgap because there was a time limit. It was also being challenged in court by several states. When President Trump, what he basically did was he put, he, he, he didn't necessarily void DACA. He didn't take it away because there's going to be no action on DACA. If you are a young person who is brought here, if you are felony free, you are not going to be deported. President Trump has put a six month time limit. No, no action against any dreamer, which I hate that term because I think every child in this country, regardless of legal or illegal, has dreams. So I, I am offended by calling only one group of children dreamers because we're all dreamers. But that, that, that's a minor bitch of mine. Um, but what President Trump has done is said, I don't have any authority to write DACA, to sign it into law. And so I'm not going to have any action against any child who is here illegally. Nothing will change for you. 
what I'm doing is I'm kicking this down to the legislative authority, to the Congress, and you know, to the House of Representatives and the Senate. It is, uh, it is up to them to draft a bill to make you legal. I'm giving the legislative branch of government, I am telling them that they need to create a law for DACA. You're not going to be deported. So all of you that are, are afraid that you're going to be deported, have your families ripped apart, you're not going to be deported unless you ha are committing felonies. You have nothing to worry about. President Trump has given the legislative branch six months to draw up legislation for DACA. When they draw up that legislation, it is up to them to pass that legislation as the legislative branch of government. They are the only body constitutionally allowed to draft laws. So if you are angry at anybody, if you need to get a message through to anybody, it is to the Congress, it is to your senator, it is to your representative in the Congress to put pressure on them to pass DACA. What a legislative, when the legislative branch creates a law, the president can veto it. President Trump has said he will not veto DACA. He has told you that publicly. So he is waiting to sign DACA into law, but he needs the legislative authority to sign it into law. This is how the government works under the Constitution. When the legislative authority passes a law, it takes the act of the legislative authority to repeal the law. So by kicking DACA to the legislative branch of government, he's not only telling the legislative branch of government to do their job and legislate DACA, but it also gives you more protection than an executive order because any other president can come in and with a stroke of a pen say it's no more, just like Trump did. But Trump is saying that he's willing to sign it as long as the legislative authority passes it. So all of you that are freaking out are freaking out for no freaking reason. And President Trump says he will sign DACA into law for one. And two, he says he is not tying this to the funding for the border wall. So President Trump is there. He's ready to sign DACA. You have to lean you. I'm looking at you. If you want DACA to remain, you have to lean on your senators and your members in the Re House of Representatives and tell them to get off their legislative asses and to get to work, to do their jobs. We elected them to legislate. And if they don't legislate, I don't care if you're an incumbent, I don't care if you're John frickin' McShame, McCain. You need to do your jobs or we're voting your ass out. And that's all I have to say. There's no reason to worry about DACA. It will be retained and it will be passed. But the legislative authority needs to do their job and sign it into law and protect the people under DACA. Because once it's legislated into law, it takes an act of the legislative authority to repeal it, which means it will never be repealed because our government is ineffective, ineffective, full of people who take lobbyist money and sit on their collective fat asses and complain about one another. So DACA, don't worry about it. Lean on the House and the Senate and it's going to pass. So stop freaking out. Have a good night.